हेलो एंड वेलकम टू स्पोकन इंग्लिश वीडियो लेसन बाय एरो पब्लिकेशन आई एम यू स्पोकन इंग्लिश ट्रेनर पद्मिनी एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो लेसन आई विल टेल यू अबाउट बी फॉर्म्स वेल द वर्ब बी हैज मेनी फॉर्म्स एंड इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द बी फॉर्म्स एम इज आर लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Before we actually start learning the use of the verbs am is are let's see how we can pronounce them because they are many times likely to be mispronounced let's see how you can pronounce them right i am don't say i am say i am and if you want to use the short form you can say i'm i'm he is don't say he is or he is it's he is and if you want to use the short form you can say his 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 the next one is she is can you see the sound of the yes here it is z he she is and what is the short form she is she is next it is it is and what's the short form it's it's and the next one we are we are and how do you use the short form we are we are and the next one is you are you are and the short form is you are you are and the next one is they are they are and what's the short form they are they are so learn to use these short forms of course if you don't think you can use them right you can use the long forms but pronounce them right and in spoken language remember we use the short forms we don't use the long forms practice them till you can pronounce them properly now let's start learning about the use of these verbs am is are the verbs am is are are always used to talk about the present time and they are used in combination with certain words the first combination is am is are plus number so when you want to talk about number such as age your weight your height we use this am is are plus this word which denotes the number now let's look at some examples i am 25 years old i am 25 years old so when you talk about your age you use am is are he is 6 feet tall he is 6 feet tall it is 8 o'clock it is 8 o'clock so all these are examples of numbers now let's look at the next use of am is are am is are are you are used with names now let's look at the examples i am a boy i am a boy don't say i am and it is boy i am a boy it's important for you to pronounce the words properly because that makes a lot of difference and it adds more beauty to the way you speak she is a girl we are men they are women don't say women woman is for singular she is a woman but when you talk about the plural form we pronounce it as women they are women he is rajesh she is renu it's a story book it's a dog so all these are sentences where you use am is are plus names and the next is with qualifications when you talk about your qualifications you can say i am or he is or she is or they are let's look at some examples i am a graduate you are a graduate he is a post graduate they are undergraduates she is an ma in english 
So all these are words related to qualifications and we use am, is, are before them. The next use of am, is, are is with our jobs. When you want to say what you are, what he is, what she is, what they are or what we are or what you are. So we add the name of the job. Let's look at some examples. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Don't say doctor. Say doctor. She's a teacher. She's a teacher. Remember the R is silent. Don't pronounce it as teacher or doctor. Say I'm a doctor. She's a teacher. He's an engineer. They are farmers. They are farmers. Now the next combination with Amizar is with qualities. Now let's look at some examples. And tall. Don't say tall. Say tall. I'm tall. My brother is short. My brother is short. The flowers are beautiful. The elephant is big. Now all these words tall, short, beautiful and big are words that describe the quality of the things. And we use the verbs am, is, are before them. Now the next combination with am, is, are are with feelings. I'm happy. She's sad. We are tired. They are angry. Now all these words denote the feelings of a person. Happy, sad, tired, angry. These are adjectives but they can be grouped under feelings. So we use amizar with feelings. Now let's look at some more feelings. Some more words that denote feelings. The children are excited. Excited means very happy. He is thirsty. That means he wants to drink water. He is hungry. He wants to eat food. We are proud of our country. Proud also is a feeling. He is bored. So what's his feeling? Bored. So the words bored, excited, tired, thirsty, hungry, proud are all adjectives which show feelings. Let's look at some more words that denote feelings. I'm interested in sports. Interested is also a feeling. You feel interested, isn't it? Next, she's depressed. Now, depressed is a feeling in the mind. He's disappointed. What is disappointed? When you don't, when you're not happy about something. We are inspired by Vivekananda. So, we are inspired by some great people. So, inspired is a feeling that we develop in the mind. I'm surprised to see you. He's shocked to hear this. So, shocked, surprised, interested, excited, depressed, disappointed, inspired are words that indicate feelings and have to be used with am, is, are. You cannot say, I inspired, I shocked, I surprised, he disappointed. I have seen many people using these words without amisar. So it's important for you to learn that these words denote feelings. So they have to have am, is, are. They have to have a verb before them. Now let's look at the next combination with am, is, are. Am, is, are can be used with state or condition of something. So a state is a state of being, how they exist state of existence. Now let's look at some examples to understand. I am busy. So what's my condition today? What's my state today? I'm busy. I'm free. The patient is dead. Don't say the patient has died or many people have died. Died is a past form of the verb. So when you want to use amizar, you have to use the noun form. The patient is dead. Don't ever say the patient is died. Dead is the right word. The students are present. The students are present. So what's the condition of the class? The students are present. The bus is crowded. What is the condition of the bus? It's crowded. That means it's full of people. She is injured. What's her condition? She is injured. The insect is alive. Alive is also a, the condition or the state of the insect. It's still living. The baby is asleep. The baby is asleep. Asleep means 
in a sleeping condition. She is awake. That means she is not sleeping. She has got up. So, it is a condition where she is up from bed. The roads are congested. Congested means lot of traffic. It is small roads, narrow roads are called congested roads with lots of people and heavy traffic and also being narrow. She is absent to class. Absent is a state or condition of the person. He is not present. We are free today. Free is also a condition or a state. Now let us go to the next combination. Amizar can be used with status words. Now let us look at some examples to understand what this means. He is married. He is married. So what is his status? He is in a married state. They are educated. They are all educated. She is engaged. She, will, she is divorced. Don't say divorced. It is divorced. My father is retired. So this is also a status. He is suspended. Suspended means removed from a job for a small time, for a short time. He is dismissed. Dismissed means removed forever from a job. They are employed. Employed is also a status. Now let's go to the next combination with Amizar. With position or location. Let's look at some examples. We are in Delhi. The word in tells us about where the person is. In. They are at home. The books are on the table. You can see that there are words in, at and on which are prepositions. She is here. He is there. These are, also these are also words that show position or location. So, these words that indicate position or location can be used with am, is, are. And the next one is with possession and relationship. Now let's see what this means. This is my book. It belongs to me. These pens are mine. That house is theirs. This is our car. This is his bike. She is his sister. He is my brother. They are my parents. It is our pet dog. So in all these sentences, we are talking about possession and relationship. Where we are talking about ownership. What belongs to us. So here we use am, is, are. And the next one is with the ing form of an action word. Am, is, are comes with verb plus ing. That means it's called the ing form of the verb. Let's see how we can use them. The sun is shining. The sun is shining. Don't say shining. It's shining. And shining is shine plus ing. So it is a continuous form of the verb. It is raining now. So it's happening now. Rain plus ing. The students are writing. Write plus ing. The children are playing. Play plus ing. So these are all ing forms of the verb. Now, please remember that we cannot use this am is are with other forms of the verbs. Like you cannot say he is right. She is go. She is went. He is told. These kind of sentences cannot be formed because they are not ing verbs. You can use these verbs am is are in the present time to talk about the present time in all these combinations. But any other combination would be wrong. So I hope you have understood how the verbs, such little words called amizar, can actually be used in our daily communication in a proper way. If you know the uses, you will understand how it cannot be used. So, hope you enjoyed this class. I'll come back with many more videos on more grammar for all of you so that you can become accurate in the way you speak. Thank you for watching our video. Do like, share and subscribe to our videos. See you soon. Goodbye.